Thanks to iOS 16, the iPhone's home screen and lock screen are more customizable than ever. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fully customize your device and give you some useful tips and tricks that you need to know about the all new lock screen. So on previous versions of iOS, the only way that you could change your wallpaper is if you went into your settings, went to wallpaper, and then changed it from here. But with iOS 16, you can do that, but you can also go to your lock screen or your notification center and simply tap and hold in the middle of that wallpaper and you will see that you can edit your wallpaper from here. So you get this new interface right here where you can see all of your existing lock screens along with the title of what it is up top. But we're gonna start off simple. We're gonna go all the way over to the end and you can see we have add new right here. And if we tap on the blue plus, we get this interface that shows us a bunch of different wallpaper kind of setups that we can do for our lock screen. So we have our weather and astronomy, emoji, collections, color. I'll touch more on these in a little bit. But let's start off with, let's say you just simply down downloaded a wallpaper from the internet and you want to put that as your background. So you just tap on photos right up here in the top left and we're going to go ahead to our, I'm going to go to my wallpapers album. I have a whole album set for that and we're just going to choose a wallpaper from here. So let me just choose, let's just do this one right here. And once you add that photo, you will notice these faint white borders on certain parts of the image and that indicates that we can modify that section. So starting off with the clock font, if you tap on that, you can change not only the font, but you could also change the color of the font. So we're going to change it to something funky. Let's just do something like that. And then we have these different colors right here, which, you know, you can make them be like the white right there, the blue. It can also get pretty specific with the colors as well with the little slider right here. You could also tap on this. If we go all the way down to the end, you can tap on that to get very specific with the color. You could also use the dropper right here to pick up on a color that you already have on the lock screen. But for now, we're just going to choose this white one right there. And now we have up top where it shows our date. So right now it just shows the date and the day. If you tap on that, you can actually add a widget to the top part. So we have suggestions right here. We have some third party applications our calendar, our clock, you know, we have all kinds of things that you could add up top. Now, me personally, I like having my alarms set up top. I like to see when, you know, my alarm is set for the next morning because I set an alarm every day, but you could change that to whatever you want right there. And I only do that one up top because you can add more widgets down below. So right here under the time, we have a button that says add widgets. If you tap on that, this is where you can add widgets. So from here, you can add four small widgets or two large widgets, or you can mix and match. So these are the large ones right here. You can see only two fits. If we tap on the little button right there, it will remove them. And you can see this is what four looks like on the lock screen. So third party applications are getting updated every day now to include support for lock screen widgets. So you will start to see those pop up with apps like Flighty. We have apps like Parcel, you know, Facebook has some, Apollo for Reddit has a really good one. So if you tap on that, you could see it shows the Apollo right there. And you can actually do different things as well. So if we tap on Apollo right here, you can see there are multiple different types of widgets to add. So we have trending posts, distance scrolled, karma, you can go to a random subreddit, which is one that I like just because it's kind of interesting. Just if you're bored, you can tap on that from your lock screen and instantly go to a random subreddit. So let's add some more. So we can add batteries right here. So if you add one of the batteries, you could also tap on that to change this even more to get more specific. So it shows, you know, if it shows the battery for your Apple Watch, but you want it to show for your AirPods, you can change that in there. And let's add something else useful in there. So we have the parcel right here. We can see your deliveries if they've been delivered. I want something more useful than that though. Let's just do calendar and we're gonna do a calendar event. And if we tap on that, you can make sure that it is mirroring the calendar app. Just keep in mind, you could always tap on the widget right there or just access it from down here to get more options about that widget because there may be different styles as well. And actually I'm gonna swap out the calendar for reminders because it shows more information there on my lock screen. There we go, now it looks more useful. Now, once you add those widgets, you could also swipe over on an image to add different filters. So you can see the name of the filter down there. So we have black and white, duotone, color wash. So you could do that and change the look of these wallpapers. And they actually put a really nice effect on it. It looks like a completely different wallpaper than what we had at the beginning. And then down in the bottom right, we have those three dots right there, which allows you to turn 
turn on the depth effect, which you cannot do with an image like this, but if you have a portrait image or just an image where a subject and a background are clearly defined, you will be able to do that. So I'll show you what that is here in a second, but let's just go ahead and tap on add. And once you tap on add, you will see that you get a new option here that says set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen. So if you set this as a wallpaper pair, you get a little preview image right there of what your home screen is going to look like. So let's just go ahead and tap on that. And now we have that set and you can see that is what our home screen looks like. Now, if we want to change that, we can go back into here and tap on the customize button right here and then tap on done again. And from here, we can customize home screen this time. Now you can also access this quicker in the settings app. So if you go to settings, wallpaper, and then just go to your home screen section and tap on customize, you can see that you have different options down here. So first off, we have original, which just means that, that is the original wallpaper from the lock screen. We have color, so you could change the color. If you tap again on the plus, you have all these different colors to choose from. So you could change the background color and you could also do the little slider right here to get more precise with it. We have gradient. So if you want to create your own gradient, you can do that right here. And if you tap on this button up in the top left right here, you can get more specific as well with the grid spectrum and sliders. And then we also have photos and this is going to allow you to go ahead and set a new photo as your home screen wallpaper. So this is the best way to change your home screen wallpaper. So if we just go ahead and do this right here. You can see that will change the home screen wallpaper. We can tap on done and it's done right there. Now it'll change. You can see the animation and if you wanted to blur that, we have an option down in the bottom right hand corner to blur or unblur. All right, so now let's talk about that depth effect. So you can see I have one set up right here and the depth effect is basically just where the image is in front of the clock. It looks really cool and you can see that my cat's ear is in front of the clock there, kind of hiding it. It makes your lock screen just look so much better. It makes the subject look like it's popping out at you, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna start one from scratch right here. We're gonna go to add new and you wanna look for photos that have a very clear clearly defined subject and background like these images of my cat you could see it's a very clearly defined subject and the background is blurred and that is the key for getting the depth effect to work there's no you know precise thing that Apple mentions you kind of just have to mess around with images and see which one works so most of the time a lot of the images in featured and people and pets will work but you may just have to play around with it so I'm gonna try to find a good one that's not my cat all right so here's a good one so you could see we have a clearly defined subject and a clearly defined background image. And you can see here, we have the little palm tree going over the time right there, which indicates that depth effect is turned on. To ensure that, we could tap on the three dots down here, and you could see, in fact, depth effect is on. If we turn that off, you could see how it would look. So let's go ahead and turn it right back on. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the depth effect is that it does not work with widgets. So the moment we add a widget right here, you will see that depth effect is no longer able to be turned on. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all of these bottom widgets. You can add a top widget. So if you still wanted to add your Apollo or your calendar, you could add that up there or the alarm. We could still add that and have this work. And when you have depth effect added, you also do have some different filters. So we have black and white, we have duotone and we have color wash right here as well. So you can see that kind of changes the look and it looks pretty cool because it shows the different clock fonts if you don't change that. But we're gonna go ahead and change that to something like, let's just do this one right here. And if you wanna see how far you can move the image before it just doesn't work anymore, before it doesn't have the depth effect, you can kind of move it around. And really it's just a lot of playing around with this to see how far you can go before Apple kicks you off and says you can't put this up there above the clock anymore. So it looks like that's about as good as we're gonna get right there. And I think that looks really good. So we're gonna tap on add, and I don't want a blurred version of this to be my home screen background. So we're just gonna go on customize home screen and we're gonna choose a new photo for that. So we'll just choose this one once again. Let's tap on done, done again. And there we go, we now have our new depth effect lock screen, which I think looks pretty sick. And once you've set up a few lock screens, you're gonna to start to notice that this part gets pretty cluttered pretty quick. So if you wanted to delete some of these lock screen and home screen setups, all you have to do is swipe up and then you have a delete button. And from there, you can delete this wallpaper and it will clean up your section right here. I do also wanna talk about linking focus modes, but before we do that, let's go ahead to add new. And I wanted to show you guys a few more of these pre-selected lock screens, like the weather and astronomy, for example. So this one is really cool. So if you tap on this, it will show you a live animation of the weather going on in your current location. And it will also have some preset widgets that are 
are already in there. And you can see up top, it also shows the location, which is pretty neat. I think this is really cool. We do also have astronomy. So you can see this is the earth right there. We have a cool depth effect on the time. You also have different options that you can do. So we have earth, earth detail, the moon, moon detail and solar system. I think the moon one is really cool, especially if you have this set up with your sleep focus mode, which I'll talk about here in a second. We have our clownfish wallpaper right here, which was the original iPhones wallpaper. So that one's pretty cool to have. We do also have emojis. I'm not a big fan of this, but it could be pretty cool if you like using emojis as a background. So we have small grid, medium grid, large grid, rings, and also spiral. And you can customize this by tapping on the emoji icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and you could choose what emojis you want in there. You can have up to six emojis to show. You also have these three dots on the bottom right where you can change the background color. So if you want to change the color of the background, you could do that in there as well. And then right below that, we have collections where we have some of the default iPhone wallpapers. And then we also have color down here, which are just some basic colors. And before we leave this section, I do also want to mention photo shuffle, which photo shuffle I think is really cool. So this allows you to have a dynamic set of photos that shuffle as you use your iPhone throughout the day, or you could have it set to change when you tap or when you lock your phone. So for example, I'm going to do on tap just so I can show you this and I'm going to have it set to, we'll just do pets only. So we're going to do use featured photos. You could also select them manually if you want to, but now when you're on your lock screen, you can just simply tap and it will change the image every time you tap. And you could also do it for lock or like I mentioned, you can have it set for hourly or at a certain time interval. All right. So now let's talk about linking focus modes. So I think this is a very heavily underrated feature in iOS 16. And if you go to the link focus modes button down here at the bottom, when you go to customize, if you just simply tap on that, you will be able to link a focus mode and it says select a focus to turn on with this lock screen. So if I wanted this really bright one right here to be definitely not while I sleep, that may be for fitness. So if we tap on fitness right there, this lock screen and home screen is now tied to the fitness focus. So if I were to change to another wallpaper right here and I went into invoke the fitness focus, you will see that my background changes and my lock screen changes as well because it's tied to that focus mode. And I think this is extremely useful for when you're working and also when you're sleeping. So you should have a dark lock screen and home screen for when you're sleeping. Now you can also customize this in the settings pane. So if you go to settings, you can see I put it in sleep. So it changed my uh, home screen and lock screen. But if we go into our settings, here and then go to focus and we go to the focus mode that we want to change the look for. So let's just say we're going to do gaming right here. We can go down to customize home screens and we can customize what our home screens are going to look like when we're gaming. So if I go to choose, we could choose a lock screen or choose one of our pre-existing lock screens. So we'll just choose this one right here for gaming. Let's tap on done. And for our home screen, let's choose. You can see we have create a new page. So you will get some suggestions for what you should put on your home page, or you could just choose from your existing pages. So let's just say that we want our first page to be on there and that's it. So there we go. Just the first page Let's tap on done. And if you have an Apple watch, you could also set a custom watch face for when this focus mode turns on and you can see you have turn on automatically. So when a wireless controller gets detected, you could automatically turn on this gaming focus mode. So that is pretty neat. If I gamed, I would definitely do that one right there. We do also have focus filters. So it says focus filters help you remove distractions from apps when focus is on. So if you tap on add a filter, you could filter your calendar, your mail, your messages, all of that to filter for only what you want it to filter for. So for example, if you have multiple calendars set up, but you only wanted to get your work or your gaming calendar to show up, you could do that right there and select it and tap on add. And same with filters. If you only wanted to see messages from your gaming friends, you could have that filtered right there. And you can see now on the home screen, we have the fitness focus showing up down in the bottom middle. If you tap on that, you could turn it off or change to a different focus mode straight from there. You can really just do a ton with focus modes. And with iOS 16, the fact that you can link it to a home screen and lock screen just really takes it to the next level. I also wanted to mention the now playing platter on the lock screen because I think it looks really awesome down there at the bottom. We also have these little waveforms in the top right of the now playing platter that move 
in conjunction with the song. They're not just, you know, random. It actually goes with the beat. And if we tap on the album artwork here, you will see that it shows up big and the background changes to the dominant color in the album artwork. And if you tap it again, it will go back. So I think that's a really cool touch as well to change your lock screen on the fly. And if you set a timer in iOS 16, you will see a completely new look. So it looks much better now. And that is actually utilizing the live activities feature, which is coming soon to iOS 16. That's going to allow you to show live sports scores, your Uber ride progress and things like that. And then the last thing I wanted to mention about the lock screen are the notifications. You will see notifications now come up from the bottom of the screen. But not only that, you can now change the way they look. So if you go to settings, go to notifications, you will see up top, you have three different appearance options for how your notifications display. So you have stack, which is default, you have list, and you have count, which gives you a really clean look where it only shows the number of notifications you have down at the bottom and doesn't actually show the notification until you tap on it. So as you can tell, Apple is really focusing on customization now with iOS, it seems. I think they've had enough of everybody saying that you can't do anything on an iPhone. And now I think the home screen and especially the lock screen look tremendous on iOS and actually compete with Android now, whereas they never did before. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 16 videos but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon